All right, guys. What's up, Pokemon um, Glazed Part Five? One, two, three, zero. On here. This episode, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I noticed a lot of lag, so now I'm recording it after I made the actual video. All right. Last episode, we beat the gym finally. So now we're just gonna go on his boatyard here and um, get a ticket, I guess. Hello, young sailor. Here you can sail the seven seas. All you need is a ticket. I can give you a serenity ticket for 500 bucks. Yes, I will get a serenity ticket for $500. All right, let's go down, down, down to Funky Town, all the way down to the docks. Stop that way, you freaking... Don't go there. Thank you. Back down. Down. No. Thank you. Yeah. No. Down. What are you... D oh, yeah. Um, I had some difficulties over here because it wouldn't let me run. Because my, uh, the one that I preset to B, to the B button, didn't work at all. And also, I'm going to teach Shocker Thunderbolt, which is the TM we got from the gym leader. So I'm just going to switch switch it out for Leer, I guess. Yeah, Leer's, Leer's not as good as light screen. So, see, now I'm having difficulties because I ca can't click the B button in parentheses, a.k.a the two so I'm going to have to like change it um, I, don't, I, I don't know what to change it to like num numpad 2 doesn't work anymore for some reason so I'm just changing it to 4 to make it easier on me which is left arrow because if you look on your uh, little side number things there's arrow to the left on number 4 so now um, there will be Easier for me to press B and stuff, and I'm just checking that it's fine. Now go down. To the dock, you freaking... God damn it. Not that one. No, the other one. Thank you. Gosh, this guy, he's so stupid. Yeah, I'd like to sail. Let's sail. boop a doop doo Alright. Um, right here, I'm thinking maybe there's all these fishermen in it. And in other Pokemon games, when there's fishermen that would automatically mean that there's battles. So I go and switch Luke to the front because he needs the most training out of all of them. And I'm gonna talk to everyone stupidly until I realize, you know, it's a lovely sunny day. The fish are biting. I can't think of a more perfect splendid, splendifulous day. The pier is one of the more popular fishing spots in Toonode. You're not a real fisherman until you fish here. And I'm like, ugh, nothing's happening here. Cell phones ring. Blake, where are you? Serenity, I... Oh, perfect. I was hoping you could deliver something to me. Could you run by my lab? The quickest way would be to take this serene bridge, which runs south of the aisle, I guess. Alright, so let's go south. South means down. So this is the bridge, I think. Yeah, welcome. Well, what's over there? Nothing. Let's just go down. Oh, yay, trainers. I think, yes. Exclamation point mark. Alright, let's go. The bridge is absolutely ex The bridge it is absolutely exquisite. That's wonderful. Alright, let's go. Tourist. I knew it was French. You French son of a fragget. I don't know. Alright, quick attack, quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. Oh, wow, that hurt. Um, no, don't do that. Oh, you son of a floatzel. Alright, let's go. Faint attack. And there we go. Boom, dead, level 21. That's nice. Alright, now he's sending in a gibble. I think that turns into, uh, what, what's it called? Like, the, in Diamond, like the last one of her, like her best Pokemon. That little dragon type thing. And there we go. Fain attack two or three times, finishes her off. But now I need healing because I really want, um, Luke to get experience more so than Krogunk or Kroger. Uh, so let's just go down. I love this speed feature. Hope there's no more trainers. Okay, there's more trainers. Come on, let's battle. Sure, why not? Ooh, bikini. Are you from Bikini Bottom? <laughs> Sorry. Don't tell me. Don't kill him, please. Just finish the frickin' star mite. No, don't. Damn, yeah, son of a dead. Damn you, critical hits. Alright, once again, Croker gets all the XP. That's how he rolled. That's how we get all the ladies. Oh, revenge! That is a really good move. I'm just gonna switch that up for astonish because who needs that, you know? Revenge is like, I got 
murdered with revenge so countless times I can't even comprehend you can't comprehend how many times revenge has destroyed me anyway so restored Pokemon health now I'm just um eating my food because I have um lentils there just you know chomp chomp chopping on munching them all right so right off the bat there's an inferno let's see if a counter will happen because I think he's gonna match a punch and yeah, the counter will do a lot, and he uses mostly matchup punches, so the counter finishes him off. And not yet 21, but almost. And of course, we have to go back and heal once again. That's the worst part. Of but it's okay, because we have the speed, so it'll take us less than 10 seconds. And I get really confused, don't know where to go, but now we're here. Do you think I'm s cute? No, I think you're freaking ugly, and I think I should quick attack you now. Sandstorms, quick attacks, him. Dragon Rage, that did a lot. Maybe if I reverse, that'll do a lot of damage. Yep, killed him. Level 21. See, reversal, what it does is the less health you have, the more damage it does. So, um, it's a really, it, and it always attacks first, I think. It's a really good move to have. Um, if you barely have any health. So let's, let's just go back down. Go back down. Thank you. Alright, send out a croc and knock and uh, let's, no, that's, um, let's just quick attack him because he, oh, killed me. That's wonderful. Um, let's feign attack, no, yeah, mud, feign attack, feign attack. Um, chin chow, whoa, this one really, yeah, murders. Um, let's bring shocker out. I mean, sh shocker, his main thing is, you know, electric type moves, but it, it won't affect the chin chow, so I'm just gonna have to quick attack until the end. The Chinchow almost kills me, or does quite a lot of damage actually, but I'm going to be able to pull through. I go back up there, and now we're back at the Pokemon Center almost now. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm done with the bridge, I hope, think, possibly. That's it. Yeah, I'm done with the freaking bridge. Done. All right, I'll see what Pokemon I can follow. It's a Zora. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's um, I I think it's exactly like Ditto, except it actually does damage. <laughs> it doesn't just it, it can transform and everything. And I think I don't have any Pokeballs. I think one more. I have one Pokeball and I use it. Um, but it doesn't catch it, so I'm just gonna be forced to run away. Or I could kill it, but I'd rather not destroy such a. All right, I could kill it. Whatever. Revenge. You killed my brother. I will avenge him. I'm just gonna run. Alright, now we jump down. We need cut to get back up there, so... What's down here, anyway? Um, oh, it's a map of two note. What the... F okay, what's that thing on the right, though? I don't know. Oh, well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What the... F no. That's... What? That's not my face. That's, like, the face from the emerald. What is this? That's messed up. Alright, let's see what else is here. Okay, so there's a, a, there's a little beach. That's beautifully nice. Nicely beautiful. And a little place. Let's... Oh, okay. I can't enter, I guess. Um, so let's go back, I guess. Let's go to our hometown village. Sorry, I'm eating some food. Alright, this part is really confusing. Blake, hello, Blake. You remember me? I'm Blake. A member of the Elite Four, Blake. Hello, Blake. It's good to see you again. Thank you for coming. Blake. I heard, Blake, that Blake, that Team Fla Plasma Blake, haunted in Tuna West of Serenity, blogged Blue Blake, and Blake, Blake. I don't know which is which, Blake, but I think we should call each other Blake from now on, Blake. Okay, Blake? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, Blake. So she'll be waiting at a boat in Serenity Isle, because there's this place where the Team Plasma's messing around. I don't care. And he's asking me to give him to. He's giving me a device, I guess, a pressure sensor that needs to be installed at the dam, and I have to talk to this girl named Flo, manager of the Sea Spray Dam. As soon as possible, I think she's also a gym leader, but I'm not sure. And he gave me Cut, but I don't. I don't think I can use Cut yet. Because I, I think I need to defeat a gym or something. 
Anyway, I don't think there's a use for cut, so let's just, uh, I guess we have to go all the way around, don't we? But first I would just want to check out that little patch of grass that I found out um, earlier, and he gave me the permission to see it just now, I think. I'm not actually that sure, but let's just go. Willow's Pokemon Sanctuary, no entry without permission. Yeah, and yes, he gave me permission, so let's just, nothing. Um, let's just go back, I guess. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I don't have Pokeballs, so whatever's in there, um, I can't catch anyway. Let's see, a Sentret? I don't like Sentret, I'll just kill you. I, I'll avenge nothing, but it still kills because, you know, you're level 4. I don't know, just, I mean, it's a bit of XP, you know, whatever. Notice the teleporting fat guy in 3, 2, TELEPORTING FAT GUY! You did it make me go back. I'm just, I just want Pokeballs, so I'm going to go all the way around um, to this store, see if it has Pokeballs. Probably does, because if it doesn't, that would really suck. How else would I have caught Pokemon at the beginning? But Pokeballs. Balls of poke. You poke the balls. I don't know. I'm sorry. Alright, that, what? What the, f no. Alright, so I guess they don't have Pokeballs in there. So I'll have to go all the way around to the city that, with the gym. I guess, to get the Pokeballs. I don't even care about the Poison Ivy. I just want to go to my gym city. Like, honestly. Kill my guys, but, you know, I'll go super fast and I don't really care. Alright, here we are. Hurting a lot. Well, let's just heal up. Um, here, they should have Pokeballs here, so... Let's just go around and get Pokeballs. Um, did anyone else see that glitch? That was really weird. I ran into the trees. Oh, well, let's just get, like, 20 Pokeballs. Yeah, 20 should be good. That's a good 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 20. There we go. Um, I think now we can go back down, I guess. It would really suck if I have to pay another 500 bucks just to get a freaking ticket. But, whatever. Hey, we're back where we started the video. Okay, so wait, I can't, I can't buy a ticket. Apparently, I only need one ticket to sail, so let's go back to Serenity Isle. Alright, now I have the Pokeballs, and, um, yeah. So I think we can go down the bridge and find my little Pokeball place. Um, I'm having some, t yeah, alright, so that's where he wanted us to go. There's Blake. And he wanted us to, um, I, we have to talk to him and then go down to wherever the hell he wants us to go. But first I want to go check out what's in those, that grass patch. I'm sure it's Pokemon because why else, what else would be there? There's no hidden balls or anything. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, oh, Azora. Alright, so this one's level 15. Let's catch it. Just quick attack a couple of times. Bring it down and what, right up the bat. First Pokeball. Please, yes, okay, caught him, first Pokeball, Go, gonna give him a nickname, gonna eat my porridge first, don't know what the nickname should be, should be a cool nickname, I don't know, um, maybe the DA, no, not the D, damn it, shut up, the Dark Wolf, Dark, Dark something, Dark, I don't know. The dark bark. Yes. Yes. Write that down, will you? Come on. Canter. I mean, Blake. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually, how about I just put the... No, how about I just put dark bark instead of the dark bark? I think that'll be better. This could take some time, though, because my, uh, Pokemon writing skills aren't the best, in case you haven't noticed yet. Although, I'm sure you have. Okay. The Dark Bark. <sighs> Alright. How long will you take? Gosh, Blake, you little... That's me, isn't it? Yeah, I knew that. Alright, so we're here. We have Azora. 
Okay, nicknamed Dark Bark. And it's just, oh, can't escape, you little shite. That's a word, shut up. British people use it sometimes, possibly not at all. Alright. Let's just see what his moves are. Okay, so he has Transform, Pursuit, Fake Tears, and Fury Swipe. So that's all good because um, he's like Ditto, who has Transform, except he does damage and stuff. Also, um, I, I can teach him Cut, so I can just cut through those little grass things. But I decide that one, that uh, four, is like really complicated because I have to like go with my hands like it <sighs> vertically, and it's not very nice. So I just move it to um three as the B. So now I can run with three instead of you know having to put my hand diagonally. Now I'm just gonna teach um dark cut. And I'm gonna exchange it for fake tears. I think. Yep. Or yeah. Now it's just, I don't understand why I need to cut down the tree though. Maybe to get back up. Alright, now let's just scout and see what kind of Pokemon, or it must be pretty cool Pokemon for him to like, save it from us until, oh, a Turtwig. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't really want a Turtwig though. What else is in there? A Riolu too? Wait a minute, a shit. Are these just all this? This is where he got all the starter Pokemon. Alright, that makes sense. Sadly, I don't want any other than my favorite Riolu slash Luke slash boss guy. So, I think I'm just going to head back up to the city. Um, now that I got Dark Bark, I think I'm already maxed out on Dark types because I have <clears throat> I have Krogunk already. I wonder if... My, I don't, I don't think I might not keep Krogunk because I already have a dark type and I already have a fighting type and that's exactly what Krogunk is like he's a dark and fighting so I, I don't understand I, I will keep Zorark though Nergasm. anyway I will keep Zorark because he's freaking boss and his evolved form looks like a freaking werewolf and I love werewolves okay I kind of I kind of like werewolves they're pretty cool Anyway, so, um, what now? What are these guys? Can I, can I talk to you? Hmm? No? Alright, whatever. Okay, so here's, uh, here's Blake. Oh good, the journey, it'll be tough journey, Blake. You're very brave, Blake, Blake. That's Blake Sail, freaking Blake clan of flagging. I heard I didn't blah blah blah. So the boat crashed. Um, I guess she's gonna fix the boat, and I'm gonna go find Team Fusion all by myself. How about the Elite Four member finds finds Team Fusion while I fix the boat? How about that? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh well, guys. On that note. I fear it's time to end this video. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. And, um, next episode we'll be taking on Team Fusion. I'm going to catch a few Pokemon as well. So I got the Pokeballs. And, um, I'll see you.